Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Justin DeWitt from Fireside Games looking at Stringamajig. Uh, game with a string, yes, as you might guess. Exactly. And some, and some jig. <laughs> and some jig. I, I would think you supply the jig. Well, there's that, but you get a little bit in every box. So, yeah, okay. this is our first party game, and we are really excited because we've seen a lot of party game pitches and we're kind of like, eh, I don't know. And then we saw this one and Believe it or not, somehow this, it works. This, this is the one. Yes, it's it's a string, but there's a lot going on here. So okay. what we did is we took essentially charades and a drawing game and mashed them up and forced you to do it all with a string. Okay. So you are going to draw a card, and on the card there are four. Where's the best way for this? Right there. Boom. There are always going to be four things to draw. It's usually going to be objects. Sometimes it'll be things like emotions. We can put states in there just in case you want to really be mean. Um, and the idea is, okay, cool. So there's four things to choose from. Ah, not so fast, young grasshopper. You must choose what is on the top of the deck. So for in this case, you would have to draw headphones. If I was using this card, I'd have a choice of either the first one or the fourth one. And then there are cards in here, which I shuffled very nicely, that will yeah, give you all the options. So you're going to get all sorts of combinations of choices, but you're never going to get your total anything you want unless it's one of those multis. Okay. Um, and then the rules are, you have to make your drawing, uh, your, make people guess what you're drawing using the string. That has to be the primary part. I can't just take this string, wad it up, and then start going the other room doing pantomime. <laughs> That's not a game. So um, I'm going to draw something. So, okay, so it was headphones before, so maybe I'm going to you know, make this kind of shape. But then part of the game is acting things out. So you're going to want to like make it with your heads or put them on or start rocking out or whatever to get people to guess it. One of the rules is part of the string has to be touching the table at all times, but only part of it. So do I need to lasso somebody or you know, make a building that goes up in the air? That's what you're going to do. Um, you get 60 seconds to do as many as you can. Uh, okay. And as soon as someone guesses, you're going to give them the card. So just drawing again off here. Yep. And now your choice so is So decide quickly yes. for what you're doing. Right, because the clock is ticking. Tick, okay. Tick, tick. Also, you can't make any noises, and you can't use any other props. So, all right. This is, it's very mushy. It's very squishy. Is it cherry? Great. Yes. Oh, look at that. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you know the cards. I, honestly, there's a lot of words in here I don't know. Um, oh. Worm, snake. Um, oh, it's moving. It's It's... It's a lightning? Uh, no, not lightning. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Something's happening up front here. That's right. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, a v vacuum mop. <laughs> no, not so much? Oh. Uh, yes. I believe in you. That, that's, that's nice. <laughs> that's good. That's not helping. It's not helping. And you cannot change your choice. You're, you're stuck you can with... skip a pass if you're messed up, or if you had a choice, you could jump to a different word. Let's go ahead. All right, it's a different word. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, all right. Spoon. Oh, oh, uh, uh, broom, mop, map, uh, uh, skillet. No. It's got like a snaky thing on top and it's moving. Oh. Arrow. No, it doesn't look like an arrow at all. A shovel. Oh, um, it's, it's paintbrush. It's, yes. Uh, ah, yes. Paintbrush. There's time. So okay, that been there we go. So every time I guessed, I would have gotten one of those cards and you would have gotten a point for all the guessing. Now, what I didn't tell you about were the challenge words. So we probably cheated a little bit. It's us. So so there are these yellow ones, With right? With restrictions. Yes, they have restrictions. So for example, that's one of them. Oh. So paintbrush was one. But that's okay. I wasn't explaining and you were having fun. So um, <laughs> what we were going for here is three different ways that we're going to challenge you. There's the one that has a little X in it. There we go. Um, there's the no eyes and there's two people. This is what we call a forbidden word. To when you're doing this, you want me to guess, well, you want somebody at the table to guess butterfly, but not whatever that other word is. It's too far away for me to And read. if they guess bird, you have to throw it exactly. away. Exactly. You just lose that card and you lose the time you spent. Okay. The eyes crossed out mean you have to do that with your eyes closed. So your marshmallow will be drawn blindly. Um, okay. This is my favorite one, though. It's a two person where you will pick the person to your immediate left or right. You have to draw, and this breaks the rule of the string touching the table. You now have to draw with a string in the air. It can't touch the table. So okay. your paintbrush would have actually been a two person person job with all this pantomiming and stuff so but it seems like it would but I have to enlist someone they don't do they know what the word yes, is you show them and they're in it with you they will okay, also get a point go. so the challenge words give you two points when you score them and in this case the two player one you will actually give a point to the player who helped you so there's a little bit of strategy in terms of if somebody's in the lead you may say like I'm gonna give this other guy the point right or you just may not do the two player but sometimes you're not gonna have a choice Okay. So, um, the way the game normally works is it's 60 seconds per player's turn. Everybody's scoring points like mad because you can be a really good guesser and make points. You can be a really bad drawer and still make points if you're really good at drawing points away. And uh, we're going to do enough rounds so that, excuse me, in a fewer than six player game, everybody's going to draw twice. If it's more than six and the game goes up to ten, everybody draws once. Right. No one ever plays that way. They just play until they're tired. So, it's a party game. We had to put in an official end rule, but, you know, it's a party there game. There should be a specific category of that where it's just like... 
you throw the rules away. Yeah, and you it's just like start a little playing, box. You says, don't care. Yeah. Officially, as a publisher, I've given you the way to end the game, but pff, whatever. Yeah, that's right. So, so yeah, this is uh, literally I just approved final assembly images uh, this morning. It is getting on a boat next week, and it will be probably available at your local game store in May. Is the plan? May twenty twenty. Yeah. Thank you very much, Justin. A review of String and Bajig coming from Fireside Games. <laughs>